Finally, let's talk about fusion energy because this combines several of the themes we've discussed. Google DeepMind is working with Commonwealth Fusion Systems on a fusion reactor called Spark. The goal is to replicate the sun's energy source, fusing hydrogen atoms to release massive, clean, limitless energy. The challenge, fusion requires creating and sustaining plasma at temperatures over 100 million degrees Celsius. Keeping that plasma stable is one of the hardest problems in physics. DeepMind previously demonstrated that reinforcement learning could control the magnets in a tokamak reactor to maintain plasma stability at Switzerland's EPFL lab. That was proof of concept. Now they've developed Thorax, a super-fast AI simulation system that runs millions of virtual experiments to determine optimal settings before the physical reactor is even fully operational. The AI is being trained to prevent overheating by distributing heat evenly, protect reactor walls from damage, maximize energy efficiency, control plasma in real time. This breaks a decades-long bottleneck. Instead of building physical prototypes and testing them one at a time over years, you can explore millions of design variations virtually in weeks or months. My take on fusion. I've heard fusion promises my entire life. 20 years away has been the prediction for 50 years. But the combination of better material science, better magnet technology, and AI-driven optimization might actually be the convergence that makes it real. I'm cautiously optimistic that we'll see a working fusion reactor achieving net energy gain by 2028-2030. Commercial fusion power plants? 2035-2040 at the earliest, but even that timeline would be revolutionary.